Okay, it's uh, Thursday, and it's uh, oh, about 2.30, I believe, give or take. Yeah. Uh, here sits the yellow Norton. I haven't been to it for the last couple of days. I haven't had a chance to get round to it. I need more of those round to it. Uh, anyway, it's pretty much in the same condition as it was a couple days ago. Just haven't had a chance to get to it. Other things have interrupted life as we know it. So anyway, the status of the shop is my bikes are still under cover. The BSA, we have the battery installed, started the bike, ran it up, sounds good, ready to go. As soon as we get some good uh, dry, warm weather, it can be picked up and taken home. Uh, the Triumph is still sitting here. We have all the parts that we ordered. And once again, um, it's just sitting here waiting to get up on the lift. The Norton is here with the front wheel off. Uh, I got called from uh, the wheel um, shop in California, Buchanan's. They have straightened the wheel and shipping it back. It should be in transit to arrive just about any day. Once I get it, I'll take it up to Moto Tire, have them lace the, the rim to the hub, and we'll put it together. And this one can go because it's just waiting on the front wheel right now. The green uh, Commando is still sitting here pretty much as we left it when we parked it a week or so ago, maybe a little more. And the dirty motor is still sitting there waiting to be cleaned. Uh, the good news is, over, oh, see it's raining, we actually have an umbrella. Um, the good news is the gas cap, which was the last thing we ordered for the uh, Norton, is, has arrived. And it is, oh, it is so pretty. Look at the quality of that chrome. It is just lovely. So I get to put that on the gas tank and then the gas tank on the bike. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, by the way, hey, follow up on the B50. These, This is the jug and the head and the rocker box off of the B50 that gave us so much grief. Uh, the owner took it back and disassembled it. He's a good mechanic, by the way. So um, it's out. He found the uh, exhaust valve seat and the exhaust valve itself both burnt, and the uh, valve guides are badly worn. So we've got new guides here, here and here, and new um, valves here, and the mechanic, uh, mechanic, the machinist is going to come pick these up. I have a machinist that does um, home pickup, isn't that neat? So anyway, these are just sitting here. I'll tell my machinist he can come get them. He's gonna take them off and uh, vapor blast them, clean them all up. Uh, put in, put the new valve guides in, and cut the uh, valve seats to match the new valves. So that's where we are. Uh, this guy's still sitting here pretty. I have not yet gotten to the to connecting the wires on the uh, new instruments. We did take a little while the other day and run them all into the head headlight. So here's all the wires that need to be connected to each other, and power and ground. And so once we get all of these hooked up to each other, the instruments should come to life. That's a capital should, should come to life. So that's where we are. Uh, just a weekly status report to let you know what's going on in the shop. And um, at this point in time, I have to go address some more life things. So I'm done for the day.